Hi, uh, so this is my third video and a couple of people asked me to talk about my symptoms or just symptoms in general and what to look out for for colorectal cancer. Um, so first off, um, like many people, especially young people, um, I had symptoms, but I didn't realize what um, in hindsight, I had symptoms, yes, but at the time, I didn't realize that I had symptoms for uh, colorectal cancer. Um, and someone had also asked me what prompted me to go to the doctor. Um, so long story short, um, none of the colorectal symptoms was what spurred me to go to the doctor. Um, I had a seizure. And for those of you who don't know, I was stage four um, colorectal cancer and my butt cancer metastasized to my brain. So I had a seizure and I was in a foreign country. I was in Ireland walking around by myself um, and that's what prompted me to go to the hospital. And then I told them at the Irish hospital that I had a history of colon cancer in my family which led to me getting a colonoscopy there. And that's how I found out that my cancer or originated in my uh, rectum. And I actually didn't even realize that as rectal cancer until um, a little bit uh, more than like maybe a third, halfway through my treatment. Um, yeah, I didn't realize that the tumor was in the rectum itself, but um, sometimes you just don't realize things because everything's a blur when you're going through them. Um, so anyway, so good. getting back to the main question, my cat's down here and he's driving me crazy because he wants to be pet. Stop it. Uh, um, so what are the symptoms? So there are a couple symptoms. Um, some of them are fatigue, um, change, any kind of change in your bowel movements. So loose stool, um, runny stool, being really constipated, blood in your stool. Anytime you see blood in your stool, immediately go to the doctor because there's something wrong. That's not normal. Um, and uh, all kinds of things. Um, also gaining, uh, losing weight rapidly. Um, that's one. Um, if you have lose control of your bald movements, um, that could be another cause of concern. Any of these things, you should really go to doctor. Um, so for people early onset, um, young adults, um, and young adults is um, really anyone, I think, under the age of 45, um, but some people say 50. Some people see 40, but anyway, so um, if you're a young adult and you're not in the guidelines, um, the guideline is 45 and older, needs to get screened, kid needs to get a colonoscopy once a year. Um, it was 50, but they just changed the guidelines to 45. So if you're 45 or older, you should be getting colonoscopy once a year. Um, unless you had a family history, then you should be getting them uh, annually. Um, for example, my dad had his, uh, my dad died when he's 48. He was diagnosed at 47. So the guideline for um, any children who uh, his parent, you know, had the same thing, you should start getting screened 10 years before your parent got diagnosed. So for my, for me, I was supposed to start getting colonoscopies at 37. Um, so I didn't do that. Um, I got diagnosed with colon cancer at colorectal cancer at 38. So um, the likelihood of me just waiting a year um, could have probably prevented, um, could have maybe, uh, what am I talking about? Um, could I have maybe uh, gotten away? This is the chemo brain, you guys. I'm not gonna edit this out because it's just the way my brain works. I just forget, I get species sometimes. Um, could I have maybe uh, bypassed those uh, 
having brain a brain tumor positive if i had gotten a colonoscopy at 37 possibly but um i'm not gonna try to look back and say could have would have should have because that's really um unproductive um so anyway so um yeah i had symptoms um definitely but they were easy to attribute to other things and that is exactly why a lot of people um <sighs> ignore the symptoms but you know maybe they ignore them and try to wish them away but or maybe they just don't realize it's a symptom and a lot of young people get misdiagnosed um i had a friend of mine a good friend of mine um that got um she had a rectal cancer and her tumor was so low it was hanging out of her anus and the doctor, her, she had a one doctor that told her, oh, that's a hemorrhoid. And it was actually a tumor. And she could have been diagnosed a lot sooner um, and started treatment a lot sooner, possibly, had she gotten, you know, not, not gotten most diagnosed the first time. So that happens a lot. Um, and you hear, you hear that a lot with, with young adults. Um, so if you're experiencing any of those symptoms, please go to the doctor and please, um, you know, demand a colonoscopy. Um, and there's, uh, sometimes your insurance will not pay for it, but there's, um, the colorectal, colorectal cancer alliance actually has a program in place to help, um, pay for colonoscopies. If your insurance does, if you don't have insurance or your insurance provider refuses to, uh, pay for it. So I'll, uh, link below if you um, go to the, the description box and click show more i'll have the link in there for you um but yeah in hindsight i definitely had symptoms um i didn't realize it uh, i had lost um on purpose over the course of about a year i had lost 30 pounds i had like dropped like five dress sizes because i was like changed my diet and i started exercising a lot i was just like in the best shape of my life i had more energy than i had when i was in my 20s you know i was just like i had radical change so i had um constipation really bad constipation actually and I thought it was just my diet, you know, I thought my diet, because my diet changed, I was eating so much more fiber, um, eating so many more like raw fruits and vegetables. Um, so I thought, you know, hmm, it must be that. Um, and then I had, I was uh, running this race, it was like in April, um, I got diagnosed in June, but I was running this uh, 5k race. And I got what they call the runner shits, a little bit a poop just comes out and it's called the runner shits and I was running a lot and I was like this must be what the runner shits are is and I was like oh you know that's not good maybe I should maybe I, the thought crossed my mind maybe I should get that colonoscopy that I've been putting off and I was like ah, I'm going to Ireland I'll just get it when I come back from Ireland and you know that didn't happen um coming back from Ireland resulted in brain surgery and going through chemo for, you know, my, uh, for the uh, rectal cancer. But, um, yeah, so that happened. Um, and then I, uh, I didn't really feel like, again, I didn't really feel fatigued. Um, I didn't, uh, really notice like gaining or losing weight because I've always kind of like my weight has always fluctuated throughout my whole life and I had lost weight um I don't really think that rapid weight loss would have been the thing for me um personally but you know that happens for some people um so yeah just listen to your body is the key listen to your body um you know your body better than anyone else listen to your body and don't ignore the symptoms and trust your gut instinct. Um, if you, um, the one doctor tells you one thing um, and you think, hmm, that doesn't sound right, go to another doctor, get a second opinion. Um, I was um, really fortunate that I, when I got back home to Ireland, I went to, um, I went to uh, Oshner here in um, New Orleans and I got excellent care from my 
team, my neurosurgeon, my colorectal surgeon, my oncologist, um, their nurses, um, also now I have more doctors than I've ever seen in my life. Um, if you look, look at the amount of doctors I see on a semi-regular basis, um, but I am really fortunate that I've got such good care now. And um, but yeah, go get a check.